If you were a kid in the late 2000s, then you probably have heard of Terraria. I used to sit on my mom's phone and play this thing non-stop for years. This adventure game is kind of like Minecraft, except it's 2D and has a lot more stuff. And I mean a lot. The best part about the game is the incredibly designed bosses. The only problem is the game is a little too cartoony for me. So I'm gonna redesign them and make them as realistic as I can. The first boss I'm gonna be redesigning is the Eye of Cthulhu. This boss is the face of Terraria and already has one of the coolest designs. So let's just get into it. The first step was just to grab this eyeball as a base. I flipped it around then put it in place. Then I just started drawing in these red fleshy tentacles and I drew a lot. Then I dragged on this fleshy texture to it to make it look a little more real. I also drew in some flesh on the top of the eyeball just to make it look like it was connected not just behind it. Then I added this nice cloudy background. I made it a little bit darker and then decided I needed a light source, so I added a moon. I dragged that bad boy in, put the blend mode on screen, and then duplicated it to make it a little bit brighter. And then with a soft brush, I just painted a nice little glow. This looked a lot better than I thought it would. I also added some very basic highlights on the clouds. The lighting didn't quite match how dark the background was, so I added some in. Using the shadows, I just tried to make some shape on the flesh. I then made the outside of the eye blue, just like it is in the game. Then using this... Oh, that's disgusting. I drew in even more fleshy bits, cause obviously there wasn't enough. I then darkened it all up to make it match the rest. With a very small hard brush, I just added in these tiny little strands of flesh as well. It's these small little details that really make the whole thing just come together at the end. I then went and added some blood because, you know, gore and stuff. I masked out the parts I didn't need and that looked good. I then drew in these red little eyeball vein thingies. They looked alright. I then drew in some nice bright highlights. I only did this using an exposure layer. After that, I drew in a soft glow over the highlights to make it look like the light was bouncing off the eyeball. I then got rid of the reflection in the eye because we don't need that. There was definitely a better way of doing this, but you know, whatever, it worked. I made the outside of the eye a little more red because it was too white at the moment. After that, I added a nice blur to the background. Then obviously I did my favorite thing and added a nice camera raw filter to the entire thing. And this is our final product. I hope you guys like this one. I think this is a really cool rendition of the original and uh, let's just get on to the next one. The King Slime. This guy's probably one of the easiest bosses in the game, if not the easiest, but he's pretty cool, so yeah. The first thing I did was add in the sky as well as some grass. To select the grass, I just used the select sky tool. That worked really well. I used this water texture and just cut out a big elongated circle. I then cut off a little less than half of it and used the warp tool to make the water wrap around the circle. I then masked out a little bit of the inside so the ninja could go there later. I then added a crown to him. I know it's a little different than the one in game, but let's be honest, that looked kind of boring. I masked out this under part of the crown that wouldn't be visible. This was pretty tedious. I then finally put in the ninja- No, stop. Not that- Stop. Stop. Not that ninja. I put that ninja in there and made sure he looked like he was actually in the slime. Then using this grass brush, thank you Envato Elements, I just masked out the bottom of the slime to make it look like he was in the grass. I then drew a shadow to the right of the slime because I was going to add a light source to the left later. I also added a shadow under the crown because, you know, it has to be there. A shadow to the, I guess, the body of the slime also helped to make it look more round. Last of all, I added shadows to the crown. I also drew a very soft highlight on the left side of the slime. The background looked a little boring, so I added in some trees. I scaled those up to be near the correct size, and I mean, yeah, I guess that works. I then added shadows to the right side of both the trees, as well as a highlight on the left. Then using this light bray rush, I drew in three separate sun rays. I added in an even brighter highlight on the slime, and then a soft little glow on the edges. I painted in the inside of the slime a little bit more because it was too see-through. This actually made it look like the ninja was inside of the slime and not behind it. I added in some real quick dust particles, then some highlights to the grass as well as a camera raw filter, and that'll do it. I like this one just as much as the Eye of Cthulhu, and uh, tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. Skeletron. This guy used to haunt me as a child, but you know what? He's pretty cool now, so let's just get into it. This whole one I'm going to be doing as a speed edit because, you know, I'm lazy.
you guys like Skeletron. He's not my favorite, but he's pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Comment what you think, and I'll see you in the next one.